It's actually a thriving, healthy marine ecosystem. There is so much life down there on the seabed. At a deep field campsite at Bunga Hills, a helicopter ferries scientists to a frozen coastline where they drill into sea ice up to two metres thick. Prior to our expedition, there had never been any marine research in the Bunga Hills. We didn't even know if there was marine life here. When the underwater drone is sent beneath the ice, it reveals a world never seen before by human eyes. The sight of jellyfish, sea sponges, urchins and other creatures all relayed back on a live feed. When we first put the robot down under the sea ice, it was just so biodiverse and colourful. Some specimens are brought to the surface for closer inspection. This thing's massive. It's, it's a really um, unique laboratory, if you like, that gives us a, an insight into um, biodiversity and, and, and life in Antarctica. Several kilometres away at another camp, teams are researching the Denman Glacier, the fastest melting glacier in East Antarctica. If this glacier fails, it will actually rise and increase the sea levels by 1.5 metres approximately. It's the third summer in a row that this site has played host to Australian researchers, the team of more than 30 supported by a remote medical specialist just in case of emergency. I might be the solo doctor on the ground, um, but I'm very much part of a broader medical network. Over the coming days and weeks, everything here will be packed up, removed and remediated before the team's campaign concludes. And we've got a complete program of remediation to essentially uh, to go home with nothing but a photograph. Conducting critical science while ensuring there's no impact on Antarctica's sensitive ecosystem.